Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today in this video we will take a look at another information that we can get from the task manager and it's in the performance tab. So right click at the bottom on your taskbar and go to task manager. In this task manager you can go to something called performance. This is a very interesting panel because when your computer is running slow or if you're wondering if your computer is using the maximum of what it can with all the hardware and the resource that it has, the Task Manager Performance tab is cool for that. The first thing that you'll see is CPU. CPU, that's the central processing unit. That is what is the brain of your computer. That is partly why your computer can be slow or fast. It's not just the reason. There's an ensemble of things that makes your computer uh, perform. But the CPU is interesting. First of all, you've got CPU. You've got what type of CPU you have. So here on my computer, I've got an Intel Core i5 at 2.5 gigahertz. Then you've got a graphic that shows the CPU usage. For example, if I just move my mouse real fast, just that makes a little bump in the CPU activity, which is totally normal. So it's how hard your CPU is actually being used. And of course, at the bottom, you've got utilization, tells you how hard it's working right now. For example, mine is at 9, 10%. That's very low usage. But of course, it could be higher than that, depending on the CPU you have, the computer you have. And, you know, technically, the holder the computer you got the more it will be utilized because as time goes by, software and even the operating system requires more power. So it kind of increases slowly with time. You've got the speed. Now you might notice the speed is different from the one on the top right. My CPU is at 2.5. Why is it going at 1.18 right now? Well, that's called uh, simply throttling out of speed. Back in the past, many years ago, CPUs were always running at the maximum speed. That was how computers were designed. Then at some point, there was speed throttling that was kind of introduced. Speed throttling is simply taking the CPU, looking at what your computer needs, and just throttling down the CPU speed to what is manageable. When your computer doesn't work hard, why does the CPU have to work at the maximum speed? It's not logical. So today's CPU actually throttle down and up in speed, depending on what you do. So that's why if, for example, here I, you know, throttle down and up and, you know, go to the different things, you see here that it, the speed went up, it bumped up at 2.45 at some point, then went back down because the CPU can just run at the speed that it needs for the um, usage that you make. So, of course, if you play a game, for example, CPU speed will be much higher. If you just browse a web, CPU speed will be much lower. Then you've got, of course, the number of processes that the CPU is working on, the threads and the handles, which are kind of a breakdown of the different uh, instructions that it needs to actually process throughout all of that. You've got the uptime, that means the computer, how long it's been working basically. And then you've got maximum speed, you've got sockets, that means, you know, most computers is one because there's one CPU and that's it. But some high end computers might have more than one CPU to actually make things even faster. Cores. This is the number of cores within the CPU. This is two. Then there's logical processors. This is kind of a virtualization of CPU. And it usually, most of the time, is pretty much double the cores. But it could be any number, pair number, most of the time. Then you've got virtualization enabled. And then you've got the cache. Cache is kind of a memory spot inside the CPU there's a, a little bit of memory. What is a cache? Well it means that when your CPU for example is using um, a specific instruction 
more often than any other, what will happen is that that instruction will be cached because accessing the memory is much faster than having to recall that instruction again. So by using cache, you can actually make things faster as it can store all the things you do or the CPU does quite frequently. And one last thing you might ask, when is CPU usage too high? Typically, one of the things you need to check out, if CPU is 100% all the time, something's not right. Yes, it could be 100% or 90% for a certain time, depending on what you do. And that's okay. It might move up and down all the time. That's okay. But if it's stuck at 90 plus percent all the time, something's quite wrong. Now you might want to look at all the software you've got installed and what the computer is doing by looking at the processes that we've actually talked about a little earlier, seeing how much, you know, what process is using all that power. Uh, there's a lot of different things that could make your CPU uh, usage very high. And uh, some of them could be uh, viruses, malware. It could be simply your computer. You know what? It's time to reinstall Windows, for example. It could be your computer is very old and it has a lot of difficulty just coping with what everything is being done within your operating system. So there's a lot of things. It could be a runaway process. It could be a program that's crashed and it's not just not working right. So uh, these are things you got to check out and be careful about. So this is a CPU tab. We'll have, of course, a different video for every other type, memory, disk, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi, and check out all of these details. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.